Hey guys, how's it going? B Dog here, coming at you with some good old Dead by Daylight. Hopefully, you guys are having a good one. And all right, James. So today we got ourselves some Survivor gameplay as well as a nice little Survivor build, which I think that you will enjoy. But let's go over our perks real quick. So for our perks, we got borrow time, so that way whenever we rescue someone, it gives them a little bit more time to escape. And then this is where it gets fun here. This is like where like the next three perks are gonna be really fun with this build. So we got guardians, so whenever we unhook a survivor, not only do they get the 7% uh, haste status effect, so like they move a little bit quicker, but we also get to see the killer's aura for eight seconds, which if you guys know me, I love me some good old uh, Survivor Aura perk. And then we got Inner Healing, so that way whenever we cleanse a totem, all we gotta do is get into the locker once we cleanse the totem, and then we can just passively heal. Which brings us to our next perk, Detective's Hunch. So what Detective's Hunch does, it shows the auras of generators, chest, and totems within a 64 meter range once a generator is completed. So pretty much we're gonna use Inner Healing to you know, constantly be able to heal ourselves should we get injured, and then we're also going to have Guardian, so that way we can see the killer's aura whenever we go to unhook someone. And then we got Detective's Hunch, so that way we can, you know, see where totems are at and whatnot, so that way we can activate inner healing. But before we go and hop right into it, guys, if you guys wouldn't mind, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also, I've left a card in the top right-hand corner for the DVD Survivor perk builds, so check those out as well. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, guys, welcome back. We are at the Pale Rose at the Backwater Swamp, my favorite map. I'm just kidding. I, I am not the uh, the biggest fan of the uh, the Backwater Swamp uh, maps. But let's cleanse this. So that way we can get our uh, our wonderful perk active. So that way, should we get hit, we can get into a, a locker and heal. Good stuff. I wonder who the uh, the killer is. Thought I heard a uh, good old Huntress, but I could be mistaken. Oh no, it's not Huntress. Oh, it's Oni, I believe. Or it sounded like Oni. I believe it is uh, indeed the uh, the handsome devil in the flesh. Okay, let's kind of whoa, Jakey Poo. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, you did see me. Of course you would see me. Okay, well, I mean, he just seems pretty pretty adamant on Jake, but... What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in this, uh... In, in a locker, if we can find one. Right here, there we go. And now we just play the waiting game. We see Gurley just ran by. There we go. Let's go ahead and get on a, uh, whoops, let's get on a gin real quick. Whoops, oh boy, we're in trouble. Ho ho, doggies. Did he not? Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, no way. There's no way he didn't see us. Maybe he just didn't see the scratch marks, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming Jake gave him the, uh, Jake gave him the business, I guess. All right, so we got the wonderful, uh, Toe Tam active, which also, like, let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the new, uh, the Bone Totems. I'm interested to hear what, uh, what you guys think. Personally, like, I think they're a, a really cool idea. I'm excited to see what what the uh, the future holds for them. But what we're gonna do is hopefully we're gonna try to get Jakey Poo. If we can. Okay, we're coming, Jake. Cause I'm pretty sure his like one hit's not up. We're coming, Jake. Let's go over here. There we go, buddy. We got gotcha. you. 
Okay, good. That's one thing I love about this uh, the Steve perk here is it's it's really good because you can just see the killer's aura, which if you don't know, I love me some uh, survivor aura perks. And we got a nice heal too. There we go. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this. Actually, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna take out this totem. That way we have the perk formerly known as Inner Strength. Hopefully that's gonna be up. But the good part is over there at least. We'll um, cause like the gen that I was on, I mean it wasn't like super far obviously, but it was, it was decent. So like, at least we'll have that to go back to. And down goes Lori. Now let's just hope he doesn't have a good old barbecue. Let's actually make our our way over here. We're going to be uh, making our way downtown, if you will. Where, where are you at, big fella? There you are. Okay, well, he took out the totem. Good shit. We got you, Lori. Okay, so I'm assuming he's after Jake. Gyrly, you want some heals? Okay. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, shit. No! Oni! Oh, that was bullshit! <laughs> That's okay, though. Hopefully, uh, Lori, uh, gets, gets healed up. Alright, and on the hook we go. Okay, so all of us are on this side. And then we see the, uh, the Oni walking away like a boss. Alright, so Gary's on a gen there. We got, we got Lori, Lori there. Oh, yes, good stuff! He's really just uh, taking up them orbs. Okay, so we can assume he's probably... Oh, wait, no, he, he actually went back that way. Like, I thought he was going to go back towards the uh, the gin. Jake, thank you, buddy. Yeah. Okay, let's dip. He's gunning for us, is he? No, he's not. All right, good. Let's get in the locker. We probably will get back on that, that gen, though. That way we don't have them, like, too far spread out. But also, like, at the same time, it's not, like, directly in the action. Oh, Gurley with the Totem again! Hi there, Gurley. Okay. Alright, so he's after Jake. Which I'm assuming Jake is back over, uh, well, we were kind of close. I was going to say he was over there, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, right there. Hopefully Laura's on the gen, because if we do this right, we could. We could get out of here, like, rather, uh, rather quickly. Oh, yes. Wow. We called that. Oh. There he is. Oh, hi there, buddy. All right. Well, hopefully we can, uh, we can waste some time here. Uh, I didn't get to see, like, if, like, a totem was nearby. Uh, what about up here? Do we got a totem up here? 
Okay, well, at least the gate's open. Where, uh, where are we? Okay, so, yeah, we need to... Where are we going, guys? Uh... Okay. We're gonna take our, uh, our arse out of here. Ah, we can't get through that way. That's okay. Okay, so he's after Jake, which I, I'm pretty sure we made the right choice. Now time to find the gosh darn exit gate. I didn't get to see where it was, uh, where it was at. Where's the exit gate? Here we go, yes. Let me see if there's a totem in here. I don't think there... There is? Alright, I'm dipping. I got a bad feeling about this. Then and plus Jake's on, uh, on Death Hook. Alright, you know what, we're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and dip. We're gonna make the, uh, you know, the right choice. But I think our nice little, uh, our nice little, uh, survivor build turned out quite well, if you ask me. Let's see what we, uh, what we got, though. So we got almost 18k, which is nice. We got a lot of altruism points as well. And then we got ourselves a nice pip, <clears throat> which is always nice. But, uh, alright guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a video here. Thank you guys so much for coming out. It means the absolute world to me. But if you guys are brand new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And also, I've left a link in the description below for the DBD Survivor perk builds, so check those out as well. But I do hope that you have a great rest of your day, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.